Hello and welcome to Igbo Academy. My name is Chioma. Our topic for today is Oji. And Oji is the cola nut. Oye wetara Oji wetarandu. In Igbo land, the one who brings cola nut brings life. Oji bu otu ihe iga hori ne mume obula wasara alibu. Oji na ewo oji di oke mba domena alibu. Makana ibo ne ikuna oye wetara Oji wetarandu. He who brings cola nut Brings life. Yoruba na koji, Alsa na toji, Igbo na agoji. So all these things, I'm going to write them in in. I'm going to put them again. I'm going to translate it in English because I don't trust the translating of Google. So you're going to see it in red. The Yoruba plant kola nuts. The Alsa eat it. Why the Igbo use it to pray? So the kola nut is very important in the Igbo land. You break it into segments. So if there's a cola nut that you, that you can't break into segments in Igbo land, you don't eat it. If you break it into segments and it's up to seven, it is a very good omen. Some people even kill chicken because of kill a fowl because the, the cola nut was broken into seven segments. So there are three types of cola nut. There is the ojugo, the one that is white. Ojugo, the one that is white. There is oji kenga. The one that is pinkish. And there is Ojiawusa, the one that breaks only into two. Ojiugo. Number one, Ojiugo bunke na chocha, ana oya, ugo makana omarama, na anya. Oji kenga, number two, Oji kenga ne uwe iba ato, na chakari uke uhe. Then number three, Oji ndiawusa bunke na ana ogoru. On a wee bar bow. Then we are going to talk about Uru Oji bar. Bara na libu. That's the uses of cola nut in Igbo language, in Igbo land. In the Igbo kwenye na Oji anaha nu beke nu zobla. Ya mere na eji eji ya eme omena landi Igbo di chichi. Oja de anu beke means that Igbo people believe that the kola nut does not hear English. It does not hear English language in any way. So it is used in various Igbo cultures that will be listed below. Whenever you come to an occasion where the Igbo people are gathered or they are gathered with other tribes, they must pray using the kola nut in Igbo language. Okay, number one, Eji Oji Alunwa in Alibo. When you go to a marriage ceremony, the kola nut is used during the marriage ceremony. Number two, Eji Oji Anabatonyobia. You use kola nut to welcome a visitor. When a visitor comes to your house, you bring out a, your kola nut and tell the person, Oja Abia and it shows that that you are that they are welcomed and you show that you it shows that you love them and you trust them wherever you go to a person's house as an able person the person brings out cola nuts and gifts to you to welcome you to their house number three if people are having problems are having conflicts you give them, you bring cola nut to make peace. Number four. It is used to make good wishes. Igor for is to pray, to wish good. To someone or to somebody or to something or to pray. Whenever there's an occasion, that's why the the cola nut is used. It is used to pray, to pray for good wishes, to pray for good things to happen to people. It is used to pray. Then number five, a Georgia toada. It is used for sacrifice. Whenever they whenever they the people that go for sacrifice, that's the, the native doctors, they use it for sacrifice. 
because they make their wishes. They break the kola knot in front of the gods. They make their wishes and tell the and make their wishes while praying with the kola knot and give it to the gods. Share it with the gods. Then number six, a jodi abando. So if you two people are taking oaths, they make their wishes. They pray with the kola knot while they take the oaths. Number seven, a jodi akuzu. During burial ceremonies in Igbo land. You always see the kola knot. It is used to welcome the visitors that have come to your house. You give them kola knot. It is used to pray for the for the repose of the soul. For the person that has died to go safely. Because in Igbo land, it is believed that in this life, you journey from one part of the life to another part. So the person has gone to another world. And you pray with the kola knot and wish him well that as he, as he goes or as she goes to the other world, that the person's journey will be safe. The person will go well. So in Igbo land, you, you can't do an occasion. You can't do something good without bringing out the kola knot. Here he's saying, Nalibo, Iyonyo Biyoji, Gosirina Inabatara, yeah? On a go si kwa na i huri ananya nkuku ma mwe kwa ntu kwa si obi ne bono. So, for you, someone to come to your house or someone to come to your location and you present the cola, it shows that you you love those people, that those people are welcomed, you love them and you trust them because you can't go to anybody's house and just eat. Some people will poison you. So for you to present a cola to somebody means that you love that person. And for the person to accept too, for you to present a cola is one thing. And another thing is for the person to accept. There are some people that you present a cola to and they will tell you, no, I can't take cola in your house. Because they don't feel welcomed in your house. They feel that you poison them. If you watch Nigerian movies, you see people poison people through the cola they present to them. So... For someone to come to your house and accept the cola you gave them, it is very good. So when you present the cola, you tell the person, You tell the, the guest that you are presenting cola to the person. It gives the person a sense of pride, a sense of joy that the person is welcomed in your house. So the next is Ihe Anedia Toji. The things that we use to chew cola nuts. Wherever there is cola nuts, you must see plenty of these things that accomp that accompany the cola nut. It does not you can eat the cola nut on its own, but there are other things that you can eat them with. Number one is Osoji Nke Nke Beke Boro Alligator Pepe Pepe. That's alligator pepe. That's the first picture. Alligator pepper, you use it in eating the cola nut. Number two, akilu nkebeke or bitter cola. That's the bitter cola. You use it whenever you see the oddy, you will see this alligator pepper in the tree. You will see bitter cola in the tree. Number three is mmeme. Mmeme, I don't know the name in English, but we used to call it pepper fruit. Number four is nzu. Nzu is lime, or they call it chalk. That's the fourth picture. Nzu. You see nzu in the plate also. So when you see all those chalks, don't it is, it shows that the person has a clean heart, a white heart, just like the chalk, like the lime, and the person is welcoming you or to his or her house. Then number five, you have also G aquarako. That's the peppery peanut butter. The Igbo people they used to. Grind. They used to make peanut butter, but in the Igbo, you we used to add some things to it. We used to add pepper, and there's something we call ehuru. I don't know the name in Igbo, in English language. We had ehuru to eat to give it a pleasant smell. It's a spice, so make it spicy so that you can use it to eat the orgy. So we have 
five things that we use in eating that you can eat the algae with which are the alligator pepper the bitter cola the pepper fruit that's mimi the lime and peanut butter these are things that we can use to eat algae so i was talking about breaking the algae and having segments so if you break the the cola nut you break it into segments but if you break one and if there's a cola nut that you can't break into segments if there's a cola nut in the pod that you just brought out and you can't break into segments it is not a good thing it is a bad omen you don't eat it you to trade away ojibo now we be that's you break it into segments then the next is iwoji iwoji means breaking of cola nut when you bring a cola nut before you break it there are some things that you have to say you have to pray to put a word in a label and a booze or gorgy that is yabo bere ya bere obiwu na onye kacha si buru okenye ga gorgy ebu fodo na enye onye kacha buru nwata ka owa ya ma kesaya so it depends nwoke aga hi awoji na bendi ogoya ogahi awakwoji ebendi toro ya no na abuhi ma enyere ya ikike iwaya then it's explaining that before breaking the cola nut we have to say pray for it first before you break the cola nut when you're presented with the cola nut the eldest is the person that is going to break the cola nut so if the person that presented the corner is older than you. It's going to be the person to break the corner nut. Or if you're in a gathering and the, the, a, a, a corner nut is presented to the gathering, the elders will take the corner nut and pray before breaking it. Then they will call the youngest, the youngest person there, or a, any young person there to take it around and share it to people. When a corner nut is brought, the elders will stand and hold one and he will tell. The youngest person to come and take the cola nut and pass it around to different peoples, to the elderly people, to different people that are elders. If the pe the people are not Igbos, they'll give it to the elders from those tribes. Before he will start praying, then after praying, he he then breaks the cola nut and every other person can eat. Before breaking the cola nut in Igbo land. Good wishes is first performed or prayed for. It is mandatory for elders to pray for it. Why some offer the youngest to distribute it? A man does not pray using the cola nut in his in-law's house. You don't go to your in-law's house and he presents cola nut to you and you pray with it. No, it is a taboo in Igbo land. He does not pray using the cola nut where his elders are unless they authorize him to perform it, to pray with it. So where the elders are, you can't come where an elderly person is. If you are asked to to pray with the cola nut or to, to wow G, you have to look around and make sure that you are the elders. If you're the, if you're not the elders, you remind them that look at this person is elderly or this person is my senior. This person has to take it before me. Then we have to talk about Oji na omo wine, the cola nut and women. In Igbo land, Nalibo, Wayanahi. A real On a here, a lodge, no sister. A woman cannot go and climb a a a, a cola nut tree or pluck it. Why are not here a gorgy? A woman cannot play with the cola nut. Oh, book why you know why? And I hear a word in a libo. Why are not he a real a real orgy? Lu, man, and why in a rodgy? You can only see women selling. Cola nut in Igbo land, you don't see them climbing the cola nut tree. You don't see them using it to pray. And I hear a quick and why, Tinya can you make ferry where Roji, my Oburu na umu woke no near Baho, Ewe Chabe. So the woman cannot put her, her hand and take cola nut. 
when the men there have not taken. Ufodo ne nagani hu wera kaha nye wan nyoji ka ora inwe uhele tinyaka ne fere jivike evere jike oji. So some men will go to the extent of using their hand to give the women kola not. They don't allow them to put their hand in the plate to take kola not by themselves. So even if it's a baby that is a man that is in that gathering, that baby has to take a kula knot before the woman takes. Because a baby boy is believed to be a man. He will be a man in future. So in Igbo land, you don't see a woman using the orgy to go for or breaking the kola knot in a gathering. You don't see women doing that, but you see them selling cola nuts, selling all those things, the alligator paper, the unzu, that's the lime, the osoji. You see, it's women that are prepared and it's women that will present, that will bring it out, wash it and bring it out. Whenever a visitor comes to the house, the husband will tell her, you could bring cola nuts. The woman will go into the house, wash it and bring it and give it to the husband. The husband will then present it to the visitor or to the guest that came to the house. Ojibo gewenri karia iba abo. Ojibo aba aba hi ibencha ana asina oda rogbi. So if there's a kula not that is just only one. It is said that it is death. So, Aneku Ihendia, Mana Awoji, Oye Wetaroji Wetarando, Ie de Quara Momma, de Quarandi Room, Ebe Bere Ugo Bere, in case he bear Bena, Uncle Choir. So, we say whenever these following statements are made, different statements have been made, you pray different prayers. He who brings color brings life. May it be well with me. I may be with my enemies. Let the kites perch. Let the eagle perch. The one who says the other should not perch, may its wings be wrecked. So you pray. You pray for good things whenever you're holding the kula nuts before you break it. You pray for good things to happen to you. You make good statements. You make good wishes that this is what I want. Before you break the cola knot. So that will be all. That is all about the Odi. That is the much I can say for today. Odi is very important in Igbo land. As I've said before, there is no occasion you will go to without the cola knots being there. No Igbo occasion. Just if you're coming to Igbo land, just get ready to see cola knots everywhere you go. The cola knot is very important. Very, very important in Igbo land. Thank you so much for sticking with me to this point. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much and do have a nice day. Remember that Onye Wetaroji Meregini Wetarando. Ebe bere ugo bere.